Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to episode 15 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode, Mika invited us to the prom and in this episode, it's prom night and you're the belle of the ball. Meanwhile, Regina gets some bad news. Let's get started. Okay, here we go, prom night. I'm here with Regina George and Gretchen Winers as she puts finishing touches on her look for North Shore High School Senior Prom. Regina, what are you most excited for tonight? The after parties, duh. Regina made waves when she announced she'd be attending prom without a date. How did you come to this decision? First and foremost, I'm a feminist. Secondly, there are like zero hot senior guys. What am I supposed to do, bring a junior? No thank you. I know, right? That's why I'm bringing an older guy. If you already graduated and you say yes to a high school dance, you're a desperate creeper. <laughs> Except for Phil. No, definitely, Phil included. Oh, Mrs George is shouting up, this is mum. Honey, your letter from Yale, it came. Oh my God, oh my God, coming. Gretchen, go get it. I don't think she's got in, has she? Regina, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Describe how you're feeling right now. How I'm feeling? Like there's an envelope downstairs with three million dollars in it. Mm -mm. Here, my nails are wet, open it. But don't read. Uh oh. Put it away. So, turn off the camera, Karen. Uh-oh, oh no. <laughs> Katie was right. Even though it was the most terrifying thing I could imagine, I had to tell Mika what I did. Greenard, how's it coming? Almost ready. She doesn't look almost ready to me. Oh, there we go. I like that dress. Last thing to look perfect, how do I want to style my hair? Ooh, let's have a look. Done up, oh. oh my goodness, okay. Messy up do, oh no. Are these all gonna be gems? They are, aren't they? Oh, I wanna go with that one. Right, they're all, right, fine. Can't do any of them. Um. Can we do anything? We can't do anything. <laughs> Everything is eight gems for all styles. Oh, I thought maybe just the different lengths. Oh, fine. We don't want to style hair. Don't style hair. D please put it back. Is she not? Please don't say she's going to be bald. No, what have I done? He didn't want... She best get some hair back. What? Why is she bald? I'm mortified, I'm mortified. No, right, okay, back to the story. You can do this. Just confess, get it out in the open and then we can enjoy the rest of the night. Please say she gets hair when she comes through. Please, have. Oh, okay, it's Mika. Hey, you must be Mika. I'm Greenoid's mum, doesn't he look swish? Great to finally meet you, Miss Jemsicle. Can I get you something to drink? Water? Juice? Seltzer? Thank you, but I'm fine. Seltzer? Who am I? I don't know how all this goes. I'm more nervous than she is. You're the first boy Greenard has, you know. You know? Why would you say that if you're a mum? You just should not say that. She's got... Oh my goodness! Can I go back? She has got no hair. Is this because that was the last one I was on when I said... What? <laughs> I don't want this. Right, okay, let's just ignore the fact that she's got no hair. Wow. Wow is right. You're all grown up. Mum? You look like a princess. Doesn't she look like a princess? She does. Lucky me, she agreed to go to prom with a commoner. He is even cuter than you said. Mum? Get close, you two. I want a photo. Okay, let's accept the picture. Okay, Mum, only one. We've got to go. Mika might like more than one. They take pictures there. 
Okay, okay. Have fun, be safe, bring her home by 10. 10? I'm joking, I just wanted to see your reaction. But I was dead serious about the have fun and be safe part. Now that, I can promise. Bye, Mum. Please say she's going to get hair when she gets to prom. Just one more shot. Mum. Love you. Oh, no. Poor Regina. Honey, you cry it out. I have backup mascara. Ooh. You can get lash mites from sharing. Don't you know anything, Gretchen? The worst part of this, I don't get my $3 million. So now I'm going to be poor like everybody else. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> I bet Greenoid got in. I hate her. Ooh, this will cheer you up. When I'm do- uh oh, here we go. When I'm doing my show, I accidentally get all this random footage of people doing embarrassing things. Look, here's Greenoid that day she accidentally wore her dress inside out. Lame. And here she is totally staring at that Mika guy in gym class. Boo. <laughs> what else? No, no. Oh, this one's good. Here she is picking her nose. Wait, go back. Where? What? The clip before, Karen. Just give me your phone. What is this? Oh, I saw them at the mall. I forgot about that. There was a really good sale. She doesn't really do anything in but Shut up, Karen. I'm trying to listen. Uh-oh. I'm so She's got bald hair. I'm sorry. I just feel so guilty. About what? I used Mika's phone and texted his dad. She, we didn't have bald hair when this conversation went on. We had our nice long hair, so this is wrong. <laughs> I used Mika's phone and texted his dad. I asked him to recommend my friend Greenoid to Yale. <gasps> That's a Regina move. A Regina George move. Hey! I know, and it worked. I got in, and now I feel like dirt about it. Oh my god. She texted Mika's dad from Mika's phone. So that's how she did it. That's how she got into Yale. That sneaky little... Oh, she is big time guilty. You! It's prom night, girls. Things are about to get real. Uh-oh. So, can't look at her. I'm so annoyed with this hair. So I wasn't just playing along with your mum earlier. You look amazing. Thanks. Come on, Greeno. Just tell him now before we get to the dance. I mean it, I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes on the road. Careful! <laughs> Whoa, case in point. Okay, maybe not the best time. Sorry about that. Oh god, there's no one I'd rather get a traffic violation with. Same. I am dying to kiss him again. Um, do it. If oh, mm, whilst he's driving, let, let's just go for it. What was that for? Honk! <laughs> And we're off. Oh, here we are, prom. The glam, the glitzer, it's the most magical night of our lives. That's right, Karen. Tonight is North Shore High School senior prom and the fashion is flooding in. Oh, here comes a couple now. Oh, oh, she looks nice. Gretchen, who are you wearing? It's McWang Couture. Can you believe it? I cried my, until my dad got it for me. It's a gown worth every tear. A plus for parenting, Mr. Wieners. This is not my dad. This is the guy I've been telling you about, Dr. Philip Broadbone. He fixed my chin. I'm her dermatologist. Say hi to my subscribers, you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Broadbone, and I'm pleased to tell you about, Miss, about new Broadbone Dermacy. <laughs> My goodness, he's using it as like a little ad thing. You can place an order at www.broad... Oh, Dr. Broadbone, stop working and just enjoy yourself. Let's go dance. Who's coming up next? Oh, they look nice. Arriving now, we have that one girl and that one guy. So now you're co-hosting her show. That's right, Karen. It's Kevin Gnip. Poor and Janice Ian. Sassy as ever. Love that jumpsuit, Janice. Love that turncoat, Damien. Okay, Kevin, tell us about your look, if you must. This is straight up bespoke, yo. Check it. Initials in the lining, custom pocket for my graphing calculator. I got crimson for days, son. Kevin. <laughs> Gnapore out. 
I can't say his surname. Can you put a limit on tasteless? Because here's proof that the limit does not exist. Who's next? Oh no! Let's take a selfie before Karen bombards us. Good call. Prom night with Greenard. Prom night is ruined. She's bald. Let's not share that, okay. Those two, these two really clean up. Who knew he had hair under that beanie? Let's put the spotlight where it belongs. Oh my gosh. Bask in the spotlight. Compliment Karen. Karen. Let's compliment Karen. Let's talk about how amazing you look, Karen. Okay. All that pink are very sexy. Let's turn it back to Greenoid. Greenoid, tonight you look beautiful. Like your dress is made from seaweed. I disagree, Karen. It's the most beautiful we've seen Greenoid look all year. While we have you, any comments on your Yale status? Make the announcement, keep it under wraps. Let's keep under wraps for now, I think. No news yet. I'm sure you'll hear something soon. I don't want to think about Yale tonight. Prom night with Mika was shaping up to be everything I dreamed. Let's keep it moving, lovebirds. I was afraid confessing would ruin it, but I knew I had to. I need to pull him aside for some privacy. Should we go try and find Katie? After you. She just needs to tell him. Just tell him as soon as. Karen, I'm getting weird. There's a commotion near the entrance. Can you see anything? It's the woman you've all been waiting for and she does not disappoint. Must be Regina. Oh wow, she looks nice. Please, no photos. She does look nice. Seriously, please, stop with the photos. It's Regina George and her prom fashion is on fleek. Stop trying to make fleek happen. Fleek totally happened, Gretchen. Get over it. It really has happened. Hey, can I get my $50 now? I couldn't agree more, Karen. The hair, the shoes, the whole ensemble. Regina George gets my vote for best dressed. The punch, the dancing, the photo booth. Regina, what are you going to do first? First? Uh-oh. I'm going to deliver some justice. <gasps> Yikes. Is that going to be the end? Yeah, that is the end of the episode. Uh oh. So, next episode, I think it's all going to go down, isn't it? It's just not going to go well next episode. Gutted about the whole hair thing. Gutted. Never mind. Join me next episode where we're going to find out what goes down at prom and what Regina George actually says if she does say anything to Mika but thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys soon for a new video thanks for watching bye